Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Sam and you are watching and then Sam in Thailand. So in today's video, I'm going to share my first impressions of Buriram. So recently I was in Buriram and it was a little bit surprising for me. The city was a little bit surprising. So this video is going to be all about my first impressions of Buriram. So without any delay, let's get started with today's video and let's check out the city of Buriram. So we are coming from Amon Rajasthani, which is known as the Big Four Isan cities, which is among the Big Four Isan cities. Buriram also looks like that, but I can see a little bit more greenery over here for comparison, at least in this area. So yeah, we are going to see the differences as well over here. So now talking about first impressions till now, the city is like uh, another Isan city. If you look at the buildings, most of the buildings are not tall, which is a common feature over here in Isan. Uh, if you even walk in like suburbs of Bangkok, you get to see like tall buildings everywhere. But uh, in Isan, we really do, really do get them. So that's one similarity that I have noticed over here as well. It's evening time, it's around 4 half and this is how the traffic looks like in this area. This uh, by no means is a big street. It's like a small street over here. But it's crowded because it's near like a traction, like it's near railway station. Now one important thing to note over here is that a Bolt is not available in this city uh, as a riding sharing app, ride sharing app but Grab is available over here so if you are coming you can get a Grab bike or a Grab car over here as well and uh, the taxis are available uh, but it's not going to be like too much like Bangkok obviously because most of the people are going to have their own vehicles over here uh, because in Isan even like normal farmers everybody do have their own trucks and everything because they have to go to their villages so so you can understand what i'm trying to say over here so you won't get like too much taxis in uh, like bangkok because people go to bangkok from different provinces and it's uh, different uh, life is way too different over there compared to here but yeah that's one thing that i noticed till now that taxis are less uh, bolt is not available uh, grab is available so we will continue and see more things and this is the first massage shop that i saw till now so, so i believe uh, just like a born rajthani there are going to be few and far between massage shops here as well because in one rajthani i rarely saw massage shops even if they, even if they were there they were maybe inside some alleys or something like that there there were there were not too many massage shops in ubon rajthani and let's see how many we can see here when we go around the city till now i have just seen one you guys remember these vcds they do have vcds over here if you have vcd player we have this uh rickshaw over here as well we really see them now Here we got some condo buildings this area is near the bus terminal so it looks like the city center kind of an area so yeah i mean not bad till now i think the city looks good uh just usual uh, isan city it's clean and everything it's not like dirty it doesn't look poor it's good it's looking good till now and we are just going towards the hotel it's near from here and then we will go out to explore again so that is 7-eleven this is the first 7-eleven that we encountered in 1.5 kilometers of walking and i believe this is the bus terminal inside here this is buriam bus terminal and we have hotel over there in that road that that is street so we have hotel over here and we got a dog barking over here that's the hotel too many hotels 
hotels and condos in this area because it's like the center so if you are looking to live in Buriram this can be a place this saw is little bit quiet so uh, not bad to live even in the city center this is the hotel and this is the hotel room for 580 baht but they don't have cabinet yeah it's and just so open well. it's open cabinet just here like this yeah so this is what you can get uh, near like city center for 580 baht or around like 16 to 17 us dollars not bad because of the location and room also looks good it's clean and we got a small balcony over here yeah we got down floor so that's uh, we don't have a view So it's the evening time now and we are outside once again. Right now we are going to the local 7-Eleven. So yeah, the city looks fabulous. Uh, my first impressions of this city are good. Uh, so this city is famous for two things. One is MotoGP and Buriram Marathon. So there are many things to do over here. MotoGP is like big thing for the city. And there is like famous Chang Arena as well. So definitely the city is, uh, it's not like among top, top 4 big cities of Isan but it is still has its place in the Isan region. We have buses from over here to Korat. As you can see this is going to Korat. At 7 most of these shops over here are closed. Uh, like it happens in uh, like my village, Dan Kuntur, my town. But we are just looking for a rental bike uh, store over here. Uh, it's it's not way too late. It's only 7.15 but most of the stores are already closed. So we were looking to get a taxi from over here to go to the center. This is also center but towards the uh, like nightlife scene type of area. But there are no taxis so we had to book Grab. So for 2 kilometers is 50 baht for a car. So that's the price over here. The uh, bike rental is the best thing to do in small cities or towns over here. But uh, if you don't get to rent bike then we can use like Grab. One important thing over here, most of the bars, clubs and pubs, uh, most of the nightlife places in Buriram are near railway station, not near city center. So this is like a big pub over here or club. Places are going to get open after 9 o'clock. We just came fast because we didn't know because we don't go out a lot. Uh, so yeah. We just came we, uh, uh, because we wanted to explore and make some videos so we just came but yeah everything is closed right now please gonna come over here tomorrow maybe i will like to come over here if i can so this is how the main street looks like during the evening time it's not even eight right now in the sun, most of these shops just close around 6 or 7, so it's not a fun. So over here we got a red, some entertainment at least. Do you know a story about like rats in the Vietnam? When uh, French used to rule Vietnam. So what uh, French government wanted to do was that uh, they wanted to eliminate the rats. So they would pay like Vietnamese to just uh, eliminate the rats and uh, as a proof they just used to take the tails. So what Vietnamese used to do that time they used to just cut the tails and uh, give the tails to the French and uh, <laughs> they used to keep the mouse with themselves and that's how the, uh, the tail used to grow again and then they used to sell the tail again. 
so that's how vietnamese did that time it just came into my mind uh, when i saw the tail of the right over here so this is the railway station during the evening this is how it looks still not complete silence so over here we have people sitting down uh, around the lake and over in the side we have like open massage people are doing massages in the opener open so it's it's a little bit different from many places because it's just a park and there are many chairs and people are performing massages like therapists are performing massages so, so yeah definitely something different to see so we wanted to check out the walking street that used to exist over here but it's closed now so no walking street over here now yes okay so i can hear tukke over here after a long time all right guys so i will make a separate video about the night life uh, in which i will cover the night life of buriram and other isan cities as well so stay tuned for that video but for now this was my first impressions of buriram video and i hope that you uh, got to see buriram a little bit in this video not a lot uh, but a little bit uh, so i will be making more videos about buriram and i will upload them soon so stay tuned for that those videos as well but for now i will end this video over here uh, have a great day ahead i will see you in the next video till then peace